Hello, I'm Robert Dunn, and this, as you're no doubt aware, is Poet the Poet, and uh, we're excited to bring you another selection of uh, highly exciting and talented writers who will regale you with uh, stories and poems and anecdotes and the odd true confession here and there. We're coming to you from the Orange Bear in Lower Manhattan where uh, all the city council hangs out after a hard session of arguing with each other. And we're grateful to Vic and Yuri and the crazy artists who uh, put their paintings on the walls and uh, the people who supply all the liquids and whatnot for letting us come in here and do whatever it is that we do. And what we do, of course, primarily is poetry. And so we're prepared to offer you uh, Jeffrey Allen, on one side, and Gerard Hanley on the other. Two fascinating fellows, as you'll discover in a moment. We'll start with Jeffrey Allen. Um, let's see, we never reveal ages. By, by the way, uh, some people are sensitive, and uh, that's not gen necessarily gender specific either. I might add. Let's I'm see. 36. No, you didn't have to tell them that part. <laughs> um, you're from uh, the south side of Chicago. Yes. Um, as, uh, as a song has it. And, uh, Little city, yes. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Let's see. You started writing at the age of 10. Right. And uh, let's see, stories, poems, songs, and sketches. And you spent a uh, considerable amount of time at the University of Illinois at Chicago. Right. But you came out with a PhD. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. In 1992. Ah, no, I meant the subject. That's oh, <laughs> English, uh, creative writing specialization. Uh-huh. Um, at which point you discovered yourself unemployed <laughs> in Chicago, so you came to New York. Right. Well, everybody comes to New York. Well, not exactly. I actually came to take a job at Queens mm -hmm. College. Yeah. Queens College is a fun place. I spent a little time there myself, but not as a teacher. Yes. It's some, something quite else. Uh, let's see. So you're <laughs> assistant professor of English. Yes. Uh, specializing in? Creative writing yeah. and African American literature. Uh-huh. Let's see, you do a lot of lectures, and um, let's see, uh, let's see, Moyer Bell Press, uh, that's no relation to Bell, I take it. No. no. Okay. Uh, produced your first book, Harbors and Spirits. Yes. Um, which looks like this, by the way. And if you're curious about the odd shape of the, uh, of the book, it's because somewhere in here, aha, there is... A compact disc. Am I getting the light refraction there? <laughs> I always enjoyed that. Ever saw ever since I saw Peter Shickley do it. <laughs> anyway, and let's see. You have scheduled a novel uh, with uh, Farrar Strauss and Giro. Yes. Uh, called Rails Under My Back, and it's 900, 900 pages. That's correct. How can anybody go on for 900 pages? What's the book about? Uh, it's about two brothers who are married to two sisters and the children that they have between all of them. Uh -huh. And it's loosely based on my family history, uh -huh. uh, or I should say. And it's somewhat of a historical novel, uh -huh. I would say as well. Let's see. Uh, two families and their children and... 900 pages. I gather that they don't, they're not involved in zero population growth. No, I guess not. <laughs> okay. Uh, how about giving us a sample of your wares? Okay. This, this first form is called The Clearing, and it's dedicated to Lauren Hill, vocalist, diva, and genius. In that kingdom to come, that scripted promise known as Zion, the sea changed black in the horizon with chopping rhythm, roar and rest and range buoyant vessels of wrath. Don hammers a ledger, mean, measured, made. Razor wings open us, valley and brook pulse red with our pumping inner life. Refrain years behind, we ring, bell anger. A charged hand thumbs our blind foreheads with berry juice, paid. We purchase coats in the coin of life to come. 
Then the siren issues her singular call at the stream's edge, 144,000 gather, swaying with skyward eyes, robes humming, and the new song on pitched lips. No longer must we kneel before the stumbling stone. No longer must our palms shape the clay of offense. The final hour, children are counted for the seed. Mm -hmm. This had a dedication, I understand. Yes, it's dedicated to Lauren Hill, if you may know of uh, the, the, the singer, the miseducation of Lauren Hill. Uh, I think she's quite impressive singer. Ah, mm -hmm. Has she heard it? No, I don't think so. And she's quite famous, mm -hmm. so I don't <laughs> yes. think I'll be able to get her to see that. that that's the problem with dedications. The, uh, the victim, uh, the dedicatee never really... Uh, <laughs> Gets, gets to find out what uh, what's going on behind their backs. <laughs> right. Uh, how about another one? <laughs> okay, thank you. This is Radiant, and it's dedicated to chastity. A close friend, I should say. Mm -hmm. My loved ones sink into black reaches, their sharp-fingered hands like spears above the water. Shared surface, I drift, buoyant with waste, you navigate this place in key light and bail glances. You, necessary fact and exceeding reward, navigate the worn heavens, your compass and shield, ancient threadbare quilt sparkling with bands of red and indigo. I go on hard glowing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so two poems with dedications. Um, is it usually your, uh, your friends at the inspire you to get the, the pen down on the page? Or what else uh, triggers off uh, your writing? Uh, I wouldn't say friends necessarily, but I think my poetry is often inspired by music. So mm -hmm. many of my poems are dedicated to musicians, or my poems yeah. are dedicated to other figures that um, I think have had a profound impact on my life. Uh -huh. One many, way or another. Many of my poems are dedicated to crooks, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I had to do it. How about you? I don't dedicate. I write. <laughs> well, there's something to be said for that. Um, philosophy, I guess. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's have another one. <laughs> okay. Oh, now the book comes out. Uh, finally, the book. Yeah. <clears throat> well, this is another dedication. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. But, uh, Listen, if, it w if whatever works. <laughs> From Harbors and Spirits. This is from Harbors and Spirits. This is Comes Around, and it's dedicated to Malcolm X. Just like that, he came. Surely they knew he was shadow, white with bones of nations, straight shape slam train blazing through every blues plain. Surely they knew he was water, the tide moves, with a bullet, they strangle life hot in his throat. Surely they knew. He lifts my heart on the fork of his cries. My teeth bleed knives and my lack of bread and hunger song. Surely they knew the dead melt on the bodies of the living. From sun to sun, from stone to stone, I hammer this truth. God made man tapestry of the coming storm. Uh, question. When you were getting your PhD, um, did you do a, uh, a creative work for a thesis? Uh, yes, I did. Um, I did a collection of short stories or interrelated short stories, mm -hmm. which works as a novel, somewhat in the, the mm -hmm. tradition of, say, um, Dubliners or Faulkner's mm -hmm. Going Out Moses. Uh -huh. And were they about Chicago? Um, my stories tend to be set in some invented location, so the, uh -huh. they were Chicago, but something quite other than Chicago. Uh, my own improvised Chicago, I suppose. Oh, um, like like there's planes or something, something like that, <laughs> right? <laughs> you don't want to go there for you. <laughs> really? <laughs> but, did you find the, the professors to be supportive? Yes, I did. I, I found uh, very good support there. Mm -hmm. um, I worked with a number of professors who really helped me with my writing mm -hmm. in both poetry and in fiction. Mm -hmm. Was there any one piece of advice that you got from them? that really helped you put things together? Uh, let's see, can I? Mm -hmm. I think someone told me t to poets know a lot of things, to learn a lot of things. So <laughs> <laughs> that might have been the best piece. The one, the, one, the, one I, the one I got in Queens College was get the money first. <laughs> <laughs> That's even better. Yes. <laughs> I had to settle for published. Uh, speaking <laughs> of which, how about another poem? Okay. 
Well, once again, a dedication. <laughs> okay. This we're, is we're four for four here. <laughs> <laughs> this is one that's called Missionary Work, and it's dedicated to Jack Johnson, the first heavyweight boxing champion who was black. Steps ring, sounding, Pullman rails, hit me, age, take on the texture of broken stone, pressure breath out, or from rock, draw in the inner weight of your heart, hard coal of your lungs, dry log of your voice, heavy teeth dipped in sun, mammoth golden grin, move deep and assured, a light burning in your shoulders, wick we lit in the old days, Runs a spark over the burning deck of your chest, full to the wind. Radiates your veins and the clear surface of your muscles. I search my mouth, throat rising. This is my labor. I stoop within, my secret is silence. Heart between beats, a chamber where no feet walk. Kneel on the edge of things, I cast out music. Memory sinks its roots, circles opening, ring on ring. Faith comes from hearing. Light on your feet like a cork, bobbing, weaving. This shuffling darky shuffle all over you. Switcher shut our line elsewhere. Silver switches on water or the silver rails of teeth. Drop the rhyme in overtime. Beats compete for your feet. Punish them with music, rage running like the wind. Blow through my branches. May your heart blow this cotton from my lungs. I soar to my uttermost reaches in hope. Eagle flies on Friday, Saturday. He light on me. My blood falls the pressure of sun. Find a nest on the ground. We the same blood, but don't run the same. Shift truth from one foot to the other. String along with the champion. Got everything coming my way. A road is built of its history, a weakness for fast driving and quick reflexes. You blow a turn, put the match out. Our hope in the two notes of your hand, your body way up from a hundred roots, the shells of your shoulders crowded with sound, base for the face. You fall in time, sun drops out of sight. The Cuban sky absorbs my cries, a failed tree staring straight into the sun. Maybe they hope to fuse your glance to heaven, but our day is drawn from your day. We are larger. I am still in my body, but I lift your huge blood, place it in my chest. Mm. Well, Jeffrey Allen, I want to thank you for coming on Poet to Poet. Thank you for and having me. After the show, I'm going to go home and oil up my hand truck so I can uh, be ready for a copy of Rails Under My Back. <laughs> okay. 900 pages. And we'll be back with Gerard Hanley in a moment. Thank you. <laughs>